right, Waterfaller41 here, and this is part two of the budget stereo build on my wife's 2021 Hyundai Palisade. We're gonna skip the pleasantries. You know I'm doing JBL 620F speakers. Here is the speaker ready to go on the last door. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the rear door panels and replace the speakers there. So similar to the front, it's basically a three-step process. First step is remove this rear sail, sail panel. Second step, remove the screw inside the handle cup. Third step, pull the door off and then replace your speaker and you're good to go. So let me get everything set up. Let's dive right into this one. First thing we're gonna do is pull this guy off. There's a bunch of plastic clips until you get right here. There is a metal clip and this guy is a beast. So we're gonna be really careful. We're gonna use our gloves just so we don't scratch anything, but we're gonna have to pry pretty hard here to get the rest of these clips off. Then we'll work on that screw and get the door panel completely off. So let's get the tripod and get everything set up and dive right in. All right, we're gonna dive right into removing the rear door panel. So the first thing we're gonna do is start working on this back sail panel here. So like I said, there's a bunch of plastic clips in here. And the last clip at the bottom is a metal clip. And that one takes a little bit more work. There we go, so it's off. So like I said, metal clip, that one goes right here. Plastic, 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 plastic. Other than that, everything's very easy to remove. So let's lay that to the side. Then the next thing we're gonna do is pull this guy out. Just like the front doors, we had that rubber grip, a rubber mat in there. Then we're going to undo this Phillips head screw inside this guy. Pull that out. I'll leave that right in the cup holder there. We're gonna take our trim tool. Let's zoom down a little bit. Make sure we got the door there. Yep. All right, just like the front doors, the back doors also have a little gap for a trim tool. So once you find that gap, pop your trim tool in there, pry, and then we're just gonna work our way all the way around the door. All right, so we have all our clips undone. These little guys were put up a little fight up there. But once we have those undone, we're gonna pull the door out, up, and pop straight off. Then we're gonna undo our cable, similar to the front, it's just a little clip. We're gonna undo our window harness, and the door is off. All right, let's get everything resituated, but actually while we got this guy out, similar to the front door, there's two tabs. This guy clips into the front of the, or the back of the door, and then slides into place and the only thing holding it into place is this little tang. So if you push that tang, pull the clip out, that's it. It's good to go. Then this is for your windows and locks in the back. Then everything else pops right off. Door again has the exterior plug on it. So we got to mess with that. I have a route for that and I'll show you, but let's get everything resituated down on the speaker and knock it out from down there. All right, so we have our rear factory speaker here, and you can see just like the fronts, they are externally wired. So wire harness is on the outside of the speaker. We're installing aftermarket ones, which means our harness is gonna have to plug into the back of it. So what we're gonna end up doing is popping this little zip tie out of this little holder right here. We're gonna pop a hole in this little grommet, replace the speaker, and then we're gonna run our wire. We're gonna run this guy through this little grommet, similar to like what we did with the front doors with that little rubber grommet in this little plastic thing here, we're gonna cut a small hole, feed these wires through, they're gonna feed into the back of the speaker, and then we'll plug into this guy. And actually there is enough wire here to keep everything taut, so we might have to zip tie things, you know, just a little bit, but for the most part, everything should be situated nicely here. So again, we're gonna remove this speaker, we're gonna use a uh, utility knife, cut a little hole in here, Feed these wires through there. These wires will plug into our new speaker. Plug it in here, put everything back together, will be gravy. Let's get that speaker loaded up, ready to go, and get this guy out of here. All right, to get our speaker ready to go to pop it into the door, we have our bracket here. We got our screws to mount the speaker to the bracket, and then we have our foam. Similar to the speakers on the front, there's a groove on the back of these 620s that will take this foam, pull the backing off, and just slip it right into that channel. Then we will drop this guy. See, move these out of the way. We'll drop that speaker right into this, and then we'll get everything tightened up and we're good to go. Then we could take it and throw it into our door. So then once we get in a door, then we could cut that hole in this little rubber grommet here so we can feed wires through. So let's get that speaker loaded up, ready to go, 
we'll grab our utility knife and then I'll show you where to cut the hole. All right, we have our speaker loaded up, ready to go. And now the next thing we need to do is route our wire harness so then we can plug in everything and it's easy to go. It's ready to go once we get that speaker in place because there's not much wire on this and you need every little bit of wire you can to get everything connected nicely before situating the speaker. So I took a utility knife and I went ahead and cut a little slit right here in this little rubber guy. Be really careful, you've got wires that are already going through here and I suppose well, there might be some room to squeeze the wires next to the factory wires, but I'm just gonna squeeze them right underneath there. And really all we're gonna do is just take our wires and just feed them right through into there. And it's nice because you can reach around the inside of this thing and you can pull them all the way in. So pull them in as far as you can. That way you got plenty of speaker wire there to connect to your speaker. Go ahead then install your speaker and then pull these wires out until it's nice and taut. That way you know where these can end and then this guy will plug right into that. And actually we could just go ahead and do that right now. So that guy's plugged in, ready to go. We have our speaker wires here. Um, unfortunately with the camera where it's at, it's really hard to get the speaker in there. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and knock this out without the camera and then we'll come back and I'll show you how everything situates, get the door closed up and then that will complete the install of the four main speakers in our base Hyundai Palisade. All right, so we have our final speaker installed in the rear door on the Palisade. So again, the whole process once you remove the panel is remove the factory speaker, pop a hole in this little grommet here, run your crutch field harness through here. It'll plug into your speaker, install your speaker, plug everything back in and make sure everything's nice and taut but not being pulled too tight. I know this looks like it's being pulled tight, but it really is. It's nice and taut. It's where you want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the door and that will finish up our rear door speaker install. Again, super simple. These, like I said, I cannot say this enough. These are by far some of the easiest doors to remove. Um, some doors, they really put up a fight like the doors on my Ram, but the doors on this Palisade for whatever reason just pop right off and they go on just as easy. So let me get everything situated and then one little final thought and then we will see you in part three of this video series. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the door. It goes on just as easy as it came off. So the first thing we're gonna do is plug in our switches. Then we're gonna take our door latch assembly and plug that guy in. All right, once we have those two on, next thing we wanna do is make sure that the door sill, cause again, just like the front, there's like a waterfall lip. We wanna make sure it's up and over this rubber lip here. Line up everything and then it'll drop down nicely once everything is where it needs to go. There you go. So now once that is on the lip, you could go around and start attaching everything. All right, once you have the door and everything situated, the last thing you gotta do before closing everything up is take that screw, put that back in this guy. Make him tight. Drop your rubber grip back in here. And then we have our sail panel. And that guy just goes right back up here. Again, you're gonna start at the bottom on these. And we're situated. Everything works just as it did before. And we're situated, tightened down, good to go. All right, so that's how you replace the rear speakers on the Hyundai Palisade. So that finishes up part two of the three-part series where I'm upgrading the sound system on my wife's Palisade. The reason I started with speakers and didn't jump immediately to subwoofers is because if you're looking for an economical route to upgrade any stereo, regardless of the car, first thing you should do is always the speakers. If you replace the factory paper speakers, and this goes for your Alpine systems, your Harman Kardon systems, your premium sound systems, First thing you should do if you want better sound out of that system is replace the speakers. And if you don't know what you're looking for, get on the phone with Crutchfield or get on the instant chat with Crutchfield and ask them because they will guide you to the right things. And I will tell you this, this is probably the sixth or seventh car where I've upgraded the speakers in it. It is a world of difference and it gives so much more clarity and body to the sound system in the car. So before you go and add a subwoofer and drown yourself in bass, First thing you should do is really upgrade the speakers. And we upgraded the speakers in this car for 180 bucks. So I did the front and rears for 180 bucks, less than $200 for a really good premium stereo upgrade in the Palisade is a no brainer. 
Anyway, that is how you remove the doors on the rear of the Palisade, replace the speakers, and then reinstall the doors. Super simple. Remove the sail panel, remove the rubber uh, panel in there, remove the screw, pull everything out, pop the door up, pull it out, replace the speaker, reverse everything. Drop the door over the lip, push it down, pop all the clips back in, install the screw, reinstall this guy, enjoy your new music. So. Keep on the lookout for part three. We're gonna be installing a subwoofer in the truck. I'm gonna give these speakers some time to break in and I'm gonna drive it a little bit so I get a sense of how much bass that they're actually providing so I know what direction ultimately I'm gonna go with the subwoofer. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Part two is done. Watch out for part three. Thanks, bye.